What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. Well, that didn't take long. Um, just what? A day? A day after the firing of Frank Vogel as Suns head coach. According to multiple reports, according to CBS Sports, according to Sham Sharania, the Suns plan on hiring former Bucks coach, for, former Hawks coach, Mike Budenholzer, as his replacement. Budenholzer has coached the Atlanta Hawks and the Milwaukee Bucks in the past and won a championship for the Milwaukee Bucks during the 2021 season. However, after getting upset by the Miami Heat in the first round of the 2023 playoffs, the Bucks let him go. He took this season off, but is now back with another star-laden roster. Lead assistant coach David Fitzdale is expected to transition to a new front office role for the Suns. So this is their third head coach in three years on the new owner, Matt Ishbia, uh, Ishbia, excuse me, on the new owner, Matt Ishbia, who inherited Monty Williams as the team's leader when he took over the team in February 2023. When Williams was fired following a second round loss to the eventual champion Denver Nuggets, he was let go and eventually took over the Detroit Pistons job. And um, the Suns actually could have hired Frank Budaholzer at that point, but instead chose to go with uh, Los Angeles Lakers coach Frank Vogel. And um, this is another situation where Mark Jackson could have gotten the job but he continues to be blackballed from the uh, NBA. I don't know why. Um, it's, it's like it's almost a character flaw now to be a Christian. You can be anything else, but you be a Christian, and it's a problem. And then people wonder why I say that America's going in the wrong direction. And I'm not a religious nut at all. I'm not even very religious. But, you know, there are certain realities that I see that I don't like in this country. What's going on right now? Um, so this is what I think. I mean, I think there'll be an improved team for the regular season, I guess. Barring injuries. Um, I mean, Mike Budenholzer will, you know, he, he, can, he can coach uh, game by game. He can. He can do that. Uh, you know, when teams don't have to sit sit back and have time to strategize against him, like chess, chess, chess pieces, um, like a game of chess, that's his weakness. Uh, but during the regular season, Mike Budenholzer will get you 50 to 60 wins. It's during the playoffs where he struggles <clears throat> because he just tends to get out strategized because he fails and refuses to change. He believes in the system. He believes in the players he believe in, and he's very stubborn. And um, he's not very open to making strategic changes to uh, whatever his philosophy or whatever his strategy is. If he does do it, he doesn't stick with it. And that's going to be his weakness. I'm saying this right now in May of 2023, and I'm pretty certain that I'm going to be correct, barring injury, next year. Because we, we've, we witnessed this with the Bucks and the Hawks. You are who you are. You know? Now, granted, he has won a championship, but any Bucks fan will tell you he he arguably kept the Bucks from winning at least one other title. But, you know, best wishes to Phoenix. You're going to need it because you'll see what I'm talking about with this guy. Oh, it's going to be fool's gold during the regular season. Wait till the playoffs. You know, it's crazy because, you know, you got all these coaches that are being held accountable who don't deserve to be held accountable, in my opinion. But a guy like him who deserves to be held accountable for the strategic mistakes he makes, especially in series, uh, important playoff series, uh, he's not held accountable. And, yes, I know he won a championship. We guys be like, man, what are you talking about? This guy won a championship. No. Nah. Giannis won them that motherfucking championship. 
Giannis did. Giannis went out there and took over that series. He took it to DeAndre Ayton. He took it to that front line. He took it to that team. Remember that series? That matchup. Because DeAndre Ayton is a is a is a pretender. That was the matchup, plus the fact that Chris Paul uh, choked in that series where, was what did, did in the Phoenix Suns. But anyway, that's all I got to say about it. So much guys think.